Hello, welcome to another exciting episode of the Relationship Show on Pinaco TV. My name is Glory Irubo, and with me here is the ever beautiful and loving. You already know her. Yes, Evelyn. Welcome. On today's episode, we are discussing what men hate and what men want. Men hate a lot of things, but on my list, number one on the list is nagging slash argumentative wives like oh they hate it do you argue like me no i'm not i don't argue do you argue like some women <laughs> every human being argues but you have to make your point in a reasonable form it's not every argument that you win as a woman good and you have to look at some sensitive issue all right so she said it it's not um all arguments you win. it's not as if you should always say yes every time yes you become boring because when somebody doesn't even have um um, um um clever conversations with you it's kind of boring you should have your own opinion you should not be um, a, um somebody that just succumbs to somebody's opinion but at least the balance is what we are talking about if it's some um kind of um um trivia topics like um okay football or entertainment you can win you can argue from now to tomorrow that whiskey is better than david or david is better than whiskey nobody cares but sensitive topics like okay when um what school um are the children going to attend um what budget do i have to say just don't argue just air your own opinion and allow the man be number two on the list is they hate gossips slash troublesome wives please cut them off that trash because they hate it women we gossip a lot men hate it actually and men also hate troublesome wife so women are in the habit of always causing trouble eh -heh, eh -heh. today my man Kechi slapped me she told me that eh, eh, eh. honey what do you have to say about this <laughs> do you also are you also <laughs> Are you like that? Do you gossip? Um, and what do you gossip about? Um, if I have to gossip with my husband, it's a bad case for the it's a heady gossip. gossip. Yes, yeah. Yeah. for the benefit of the kids. So you heard it from her. She said they are healthy gossips. Like, oh, okay, they are dress. They are gossip that are. Um, healthy actually it's just for fun it's you're not trying to pull somebody down you're not trying to run down somebody they're healthy um gossip okay you can talk of how this person is so nice you like to have what she has not um bitter gossip let me no. use it that way so um i'm sure you have some other points you'd like to give us on what yes. men hate men hate cheating wives men hate cheating Yes, a cheating wife is a total turn off in the life of many men because a cheating wife is a problem to the man, to the society as a whole, and even to the family. So men hate and cheating. A lot of men cannot stand a cheating wife. Me as a woman, I hate women that cheat. I don't like it. Yeah, if there's one thing I, I've stood against over time is cheating. I don't, I, I don't even like cheating either from a woman or from a man. Yes. You should be faithful. If you don't love the person anymore, if you are not in, you are not in. Don't cheat on the person. It's not nice. It brings setback. It brings um, shame and reproach. So another thing I'm looking at that men actually hate. Men hate women that are wide and uncontrollable. It's a wide and uncontrollable wife when a woman is uncontrollable you attend every function even when your husband did not give you the instruction to attend such a function when your husband tell you to do this you are doing the opposite some women as far as that word is coming out from the mouth of the husband they will always object to it that's very very bad very uncontrollable and it's it will get to a stage whereby a man will be tired when a man consistently tell you something, do this and you always do the opposite. So a lot of men hate a woman that is not controllable. Yes, uncontrollable attitude of a woman is a turn off. Another thing I'm looking at, dirtiness. Dirtiness. Men like women, even if the man is not neat. Men like women that are neat, that can be able to take care of the kids, put the house in order. Even if, even if you have a house help, 
just as a woman that will supervise the house help to make sure things are done orderly in the house. Yes, um, there's this popular adage that has it that cleanliness is next to God. Godliness. Is a woman, um, you learn to keep the house. I know most times it's not always easy for women. Let, 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 let us call it spade is spade. Yes. Some women are working class. Um, mom they've also nursing mothers yes um balancing some of these things are not really easy but that's what makes you woman you see that's why we have the term super mom yes so being neat um attending um to everything to in everything. the house it's very very paramount it's very important yes. even when you have a house help just try as a woman to supervise what she's cooking how she's Taking care of your kicks. Yeah, no, that's supervisor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you've heard what men hate that. Um, men hate argumentative wives, they hate wide and uncontrollable women, they hate dirtiness, and they hate gossip and troublesome your wives. Wife. Uh -huh. Now, let's look at now that we've known what they hate, what do they actually want? What do men want? <laughs> easy, but not so easy. Men number one want a woman that has good relationship with his family members members yes this is very very important important you know we're in a generation of where I, I saw something on facebook and it really um breaks my heart someone like i don't want to marry a man that the mother is still alive babe forgetting that you also you yourself are you not man. going to be a mother with you are your, going to be a mother in future um uh, mother-in-law or sister-in-law um they will I don't even know what to see. I'm stammering because terrible. this case is it's, 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 ah, <laughs> it's distorting my thinking. It's bad. Like you should have. It gives a man peace when you have um when a your good wife has good relationship with your family. You should be. They will be at. Peace. You must not be best friends with them. With but them, at least but try and have a good you relationship free, with your husband. Family. You are in talking and greeting terms. Um, some persons. They say their mother is a witch, their mother in law is mother a witch. In -law it's, always the it's always the mother in law. It's always the mother in law. It's always the mother in law, the yes, side of women. It's not the mother in law, it's not the woman mother. It's yes. always the man. Oh, why? Men want, <laughs> now that you're asking, you've been asking me, yes. what do men really want? So please, that's what they want. Another thing that men want is a man wants a woman with a spark of grace. Spare me those boring, sober, submissive wives. Men don't actually want that. Sometimes be spontaneous and show them Chris. I'm going to shock you, but that's true. Men want women that has um, a spark of Chris sometimes. Yeah. You know, it's not everything um, somebody says you nod your head. But not all the time. You see, I used to tell people that the formula for a good and healthy relationship is balance. Yes. You need to balance things. So sometimes you just be spontaneous, do things that uh -uh. this one will say, uh -uh. is it my wife that is this? Or is it my babe? Is it my girlfriend that is this? Sometimes that will be a spark of grace. Maybe, for example, you are someone that you don't react to and all of a sudden, you're like, ah, this girl. Give him something to always look out for. Don't be just, don't be one way, one wife. way, monotonous. <laughs> Should that, is that the word? Like, it's boring that way. It's so, boring, sometimes, if it's spontaneous, okay. Um, then the last thing on my part, I know um, she will have a lot of things to give us because um, she has been in the game over ten, okay. So the last thing I want to say here is um, a man actually likes a woman that demands. Yes, I said it. Likes women that demands. Men likes women that makes them feel important. Yeah, True. demand. Yes, so Sometime. women are. I can't ask this man for money. How much do you want to give me? So, so women are very yes, proud. Yes, be, be. Make him feel as if you are dependent on him in a way. Reasonable demand. Yes. Yes. A, a woman that is reasonably dependent on the man. Yes. A man reasonably. Likes that. Yes. 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 So, what do you have to say about that? Maybe you have one or two things to say about that. No, actually, I'm looking at my own point. A tip of primitiveness and village kind of attitude. I also observe that men like women with a touch of this primitive and village kind of attitude. Primitive and village. This one you'll be surprised to hear this one from me. Primitive and village kind of attitude. We are in Africa. 
Nigeria precisely. It's not every time you will be showing your husband in um, America. The, the Kim K style. In abroad. <laughs> These are they do it in UK. No. Come home, dear. This is Nigeria. That, that, that soup. They so they're like giving that yes. soup in that native pot. They like oh it. my god. Men like it. <laughs> if you ask a man. It's not every time we'll be showing your husband that you are. Ah, sophistication. Are sophistication. Ah, ah. It's not every and time. And that. It's not every time. Sometimes you do that village tour for your husband. They like it. It yeah. even makes them feel at, at home. home. Yeah, I agree with you. Men want some little space. Then another thing, men like some little space. Yeah, Try some ladies are so man. clingy. Ah, ah, clingy to your man. They, they follow you, they drag on. Wait till. Sometimes give your man, observe your mind. Try to know when your man actually needs space. And give the man the space. Do you know when you give your husband space? They will your come husband around. will even have time to even meditate. Yes. It is not just about uh, love, this, there are other things that are involved yeah. in marriage and family setting. Don't forget, there are businesses to run. Don't forget, there are school fees for this man to pay and a lot of uh, things. Uh, um, what are some women that always want their husband to sit down at home with them all the time? No, that is honey, impossible. Don't go out now. No. Stay at home today. That is impossible. You can't and when the bills come calling, they'll be like, you will not provide. You will, you will not bring provide. money. You will bring money. You will pay. No. So try and give your husband some space, space sometimes. Yeah. So that because your space will enable the man to meditate, to think. It's not every time you should gum your husband. Yeah. Men like it. Like women who we understand them. Who think very well. Who have brain. Sense that we understand them. The time your man needs space. It's not that your man is avoiding you. Sometimes some women will even run to cancel. Oh, please come and cancel me. Oh. These days I don't know what is going on. Oh. My husband is avoiding me. Oh. And some people will even just start canceling and say, oh, it's like you are no longer dressing well. Please try and be very born sure. Wear sure scared. Dress sexy. Buy new night gun all those things are not relevant sometimes men need space we have to we have to believe this that men need space so when they need this space give them this space and you work on other important things yeah I, I, used to, I used marriage. to tell my i used to tell my girls i used to tell them that have a separate life outside that of your husband exactly. have click of friends you hang out with you know men no matter how much they love a woman they always have friends that they hang out with sometimes so chill up yes. you girls have girls time out sometimes you can just exactly. decide to hang out with your friends it's not everything you actually tell the man funny enough in as much as we know he's your best friend but there are some things that he shouldn't even know of until after you while yes so that's why it's very very important this space and you having your own squad outside your husband exactly. is very very paramount and this space can even cause a lot of problem in marriage when you refuse to understand that this is time that my husband needs space, let me give my husband the space to enable him to meditate, it will cause a lot of problem in the marriage. So it is very important for women to understand that particular, it's very vital in marriage, that space sometime, it is not always, it is very important. Try and understand your man so that you give him the space whenever he needs that space. Don't always run outside to go and yeah. look for cancer. And one thing I want to say in, in relation to this space issue is, know that men are hunters, they are yes. pursuers. Men don't like to be pursued. pursued. They, they always like to be the one pursued. Sure. So if you are um, a woman that always a uh, honey, maybe this one, that one, you did not come home, you did not come home, just cut him off that trash. Yes. When you live your own life, he will be the one telling you, uh, uh are you not coming home? Is it not time for you to come home? Exactly. But in the situation where you are the one always telling him, eh, it's time, you are out late, he will even want to be doing it more. Yes. So please, eh, learn to give your man. Space. some space and have your own chill out sometimes yes. by your, by when yourself. he's meditating don't forget you to go and meditate so before we close lastly on this show what do you think um about um, a man and a woman having separate room husband and wife is it necessary you know some persons are school of thoughts that okay you don't have separate room somehow you don't have separate room what's your take on that actually it's necessary if they have the money maybe your couples for example if they want to have separate room and the money is there for them to rent them um, 
accommodation that contain separate separate room for them it is very important that is where even this issue of space even work better all right yes. so that's all we can it's take on today's deal. um all right that's all we can take on today's episode of um, the relationship show on pinnacle tv yes. thank you for watching please always stop by at this channel because we always have something exciting something interesting to talk about if you have not subscribed please click the subscribe button subscribe share tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about pinnacle mm -hmm. tv Bye bye. What you were thinking when you were sleeping with my husband? That makes me look like a whore. That makes you a whore. Are you a virgin? Of course not.